Today we're going to be talking about diffusion and osmosis. We'll start with diffusion. This first demonstration illustrates diffusion of potassium permanganate in water. The potassium permanganate begins highly concentrated when it's added and it moves to an area of low concentration within the water, therefore turning the water purple. If you leave it for a while, you can see that potassium permanganate has diffused across the whole volume of the water, thus turning the entire beaker purple. So as a recap, diffusion is the movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. Now let's move on to look at osmosis. In this demonstration, we filled two short lengths of dialysis tubing, one of them with distilled water and the other one with 10% glucose solution. We're going to put the dialysis tube that contains water into a beaker where it will be surrounded by 10% glucose solution. Conversely, we'll put the dialysis tube that contains glucose into the beaker where it will be surrounded by water. We're going to be measuring the mass change of the dialysis tubing after they've been left in the beakers. 13.647 grams is the starting mass of the tube containing glucose. Conversely, the starting mass of the tube that contains water is 14.070 grams. The dialysis tube containing the water is placed in the beaker of glucose, while the dialysis tube containing the glucose is placed in the beaker of water. Osmosis is the movement of water from an area of high water potential to one of low water potential across a semi-permeable membrane. We should be seeing if the mass of these tubes varies once they've been left in their beakers. Reweighing the tube containing the glucose, we can see that it has in fact increased in mass while left in the water, whereas the tube containing the water has in fact decreased in mass when it was left in the glucose. In each of these cases, the water moved from an area of high water potential where the water was to an area of low water potential where the glucose was. Therefore, for the beaker on the left hand side, the water moved from inside the dialysis tubing to the outside, which meant the mass of the dialysis tubing decreased. However, for the beaker on the right hand side, the water moved into the dialysis tubing towards the 10% glucose solution, therefore increasing the mass of the tube. We can also see this represented by a diagram where the water moves from an area of high water potential to an area of low water potential, or vice versa as in the other tube it moved from the high water potential on the inside of the tubing to the lower water potential on the outside of the tubing. Finally, osmosis always occurs across a semi-permeable membrane. 